This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Today's video is brought to you by Surfshark. Let's talk pre-runoff election in Georgia about Herschel Walker, who is now making the rounds in a desperate bid to win that runoff election against the actually qualified Reverend Raphael Warnock. It is... <laughs> it is an odd situation that we find ourselves in that we are talking about the possibility that Herschel Walker may be the elected representative, the senator for the state of Georgia. One of two. That Herschel Walker, the resoundingly unqualified Herschel Walker, might be a member of the United States Senate. I have wrongly in the past, incorrectly, uh, mistakenly, said the same body that Lincoln uh, served in. He did not. He ran and lost uh, his election for the Senate. But many great statesmen, many terrible um, trolls and ghouls have also served there. So I guess it wouldn't be altogether out of the, out of the realm of possibility or or reason to, to think that one more idiot would serve. I have an interview here I'm gonna play, just a very brief clip of a woman asking Herschel Walker this question about these people who are ungrateful, people who were born after 1990 who don't really have any understanding, they wanna change the country as the bemoan democracy, as they say things that are in direct contravention of our Constitution and the principles stated therein. It is a remarkable answer that he gives. And we're going to get to that before we do a word from today's sponsor, Surfshark. The holidays are fast approaching. For most of us, that means increased travel and lots of online shopping. And you know what goes hand in hand with both of these attacks on your unprotected data. Defend yourself from sketchy airport Wi-Fi and dubious web purchases by using Surfshark. Surfshark is a top-of-the-line VPN that encrypts all the data you send via the internet, safeguarding your passwords, personal information, and private messages. I use Surfshark both at home and when I'm out in the world, and let me tell you, there is no safer way to travel the web. Sign up now for Surfshark at surfshark.deal slash dollamore and get 85% off of a two-year plan plus three extra months for free. This means fully secure browsing for less than two bucks per month. Now that is something to give thanks about. For such little money, you're able to run Surfshark on as many devices as you like. And it runs on all platforms, whether they be Mac or PC, Amazon Fire Stick or Chromecast. For your travels, Surfshark is the only VPN to reach coverage in 100 different countries. Basically, everywhere you go, Surfshark will be there for you. And with their 30-day money-back guarantee, you can try all of Surfshark's features completely risk-free. So support this channel by going to surfshark.deal slash dollamore. You'll get 85% off of a two-year plan with an extra three months for free. This is less than two bucks per month. Your holiday surfing depends upon it. All right, now listen, I know that I have played many a clip on this show featuring Herschel Walker. I, we have poked fun, we have rightfully made our jokes, but, but I wanna say this. <clears throat> One, I'm losing my voice. I got my, my tea here. <laughs> well, let me say this. It is important that we draw a distinction between these two men, between these two candidates, because Reverend Raphael Warnock, a, a brilliant man, a qualified man, a metered person, a reasonable, rational, rash, uh, rational individual, uh, is the person, the kind of, the caliber of person that we need in the United States Senate. To, to help buttress against fascism and uh, illiberalism. On the other hand, you have 
Herschel Walker, who I'm surprised knows what room he's in at any given time. Sometimes I'm surprised he's able to string together concepts, uh, election concepts, political concepts into his screeds. This is one of those moments. I'm going to play this, and then we're going to break down the idiocy of what he said. Here we go. Herschel, how do you feel about people that want to change America from when you and I were kids? I mean, I mean, there's, you know, we have, I guess it's 80 to 90 or 70 to 80 million people in America that were born after 1990. So these are kids who, you know, who grew up, you know, when they were 10 years of age with the, with the real beginning of the computers and the internet at home. So they don't know the world that we know pre-internet. They don't know that the bullying was not really, we may have been bullied when we were kids, you know, in a class or teased and things like that, but not, not the type of culture that these kids have with the internet today. What do you say to those kids and those young people that are voting? Well, first of all, they don't know that the grass is not green on the other side, that they think they're somewhere better. And if they know another place is better than the United States of America, my thing is, why don't you go there or tell me, let me know who that is, because I can tell them right now that's not. I think our biggest problem is we've not shown our kids that most of the people today hadn't earned the right to change America. And what I mean by that, there are people that have died or not given their life up. There are people that have given their life up for this flag. They've given this life up that, for this national anthem. They've given their life up for our freedom and this liberties that we have in this country today. And we're taking it for, for, for granted. Well, I don't want that to happen. And I'm saying, and I'm not being tough. I'm saying, if you know a place better, you go there, but you lose your citizenship here in the United States of America. And then when you come back, you got to come back legally like we should be defending the border. All right. Now, look, look, let's just generally in an overarching 30,000 foot view, talk about this question. Uh, people who want to change the country from what it was when we were kids, back when it was a good country. Because back when that lady was a kid, Herschel Walker didn't have full rights as a citizen in this country. Do you suppose that when Lincoln was trying to, to radically change the country, there were people around who made this same type of argument. Who are these people born after the 18 or the 1790s who, uh, who want to change the country, change it from something different than it was when we were kids? This is an age old argument. It's the same thing of get off my lawn, these kids. They, with their newfangled music and their, and their gadgets, uh, it's all different today. Back when I was a kid, they don't see that, though. The same argue, arguments were used against them, and now they're using those same arguments that they despised when they were used against them on this generation. Let's, let, let, let's talk, though, about his answer. I've highlighted a few here. Uh, they think that there, there is somewhere better, and if they know another place, that better, that, that is better than the United States. My thing is, why don't you go there? We have in this country a democracy, and the, the, the Constitution spells out uh, who can vote and at what age. And when you are 18, you have the right to vote, not the privilege that is granted from on high, you have the right that is protected by the Constitution of the United States to vote. And by, by, by your vote, change the country. So if you don't like the country, it's, the choice isn't get out. The choice is mobilize, organize, vote to change the country in our, for now, democracy. And then he says, most of the people today haven't earned the right to change America. Earned the right. And what I mean by that, he goes on to say, is that there's people that have died, that have given their life for this flag. They've given their life for this national anthem. Let me tell you, Herschel, 
as someone unlike you who's actually served in the uniform of this country for years as in the United States Marine Corps, sir. I don't know anybody who gave their life for the national anthem, you dolt. You certified goober. And if the argument is to be made about who gave their life for what, it is the principles that are enshrined in our constitution. Equality, the right to vote. There are several amendments in the constitution. There are several uh, sections in the constitution and two separate amendments in the constitution about voting. Three amendments in the constitution about voting. That is all done through the vote. And then I'm saying, if you know a better place, you go there, but you lose your citizenship here in the United States of America. And then when you come back, and this is where I was a little surprised that he was actually able to, to, to do a callback to some political culture war issue. Uh, and then when you come back, you got to come back legally, he says, like we should be defending the border. It's the best they got. This is the best the Republican Party has to offer in Georgia. Herschel Walker. This is an embarrassment. And they're A-OK with it because they've got a patsy. They've got a puppet that they can marionette. Vote this way, say this thing, believe this thing. And he's OK with that. And apparently the Republican Party at large is too. But voting has started. Early voting in Georgia has started. If you are in Georgia, get out there and cast your ballot for Raphael Warnock. And if you're a Republican, look, it, it is but a foregone conclusion that goober extraordinaire Herschel Walker is losing and going to lose. Stay home. Hate the rest of your community from afar. Just stay in your living room. Be an armchair bigot. You don't need to make it out to the polls. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is all that I have on that matter. I would invite you to sound off in the comments. We can all agree or disagree agreeably. But if you really want to get something off your chest in a in a telephonic format, you can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can also email me the old fashioned way, just like the kids who were born after 1990 do it on email, daily at dollamore.com. If you appreciate what I do, you want to help support what I do here, help produce the content that I do here, please consider supporting my work. Click the join button below, become a channel member for two bucks a month, or go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to support uh, the content creation and the message dissemination here on YouTube. Um, follow me on Twitter and TikTok and Instagram. I am at Dollamore and all those. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening to the voice. Maybe I'm going through a second puberty. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.